a new day dawns as construction of the MRT Putrajaya line nears the end of the race to completion of phase one, scheduled for opening mid-2021. At every level, from management down to our on-site teams, we have come together to keep the project on course. Working hand in hand towards a common goal, milestone after milestone has been delivered despite unforeseen challenges. The completion of civil works of the elevated viaduct is the most appreciable sign of the milestones achieved thus far. The crown jewels of each stretch of the elevated alignment for phase one from Damansara Damai to Jalan Ipo are the completed elevated MRT stations. A harmonious combination of form and function the new MRT Putrajaya line elevated stations feature a smaller construction footprint while maximizing rider experience and ensuring sustainability. Accessibility and ease of use are the focus of the world-class amenities they are equipped with, ensuring a comfortable journey for every passenger. The island platform model was adopted for many of these new stations to facilitate easier track access and passenger transfers. This design features the added benefit of providing waiting passengers an unrestricted view of incoming trains while also creating an airier environment and feel. With the elevated viaduct completed, cable lane works commenced, which allowed for the energization of the Northern Traction Power System to quickly follow. Testing of the new Putrajaya line trains could then begin in earnest on the sections of tracks that were ready. This includes various signaling works, as well as integrated testing with the automatic platform gates, or APGs, at completed elevated stations. Testing is also in full swing at the Operations Control Centre, or OCC, where critical systems integration testing in preparation for the launch of Phase 1 of the project is underway. Innovation continues to be at the heart of our progress, as even surveying has been reinvented with the use of drone-captured images to develop hyper-realistic 3D site renderings. Providing a virtual bird's eye view of our sites, these survey models make for powerful validation tools when paired with our building information modeling or BIM design data. BIMR, an award winning in house designed mobile augmented reality application for detecting collisions and structural discrepancies, has also been introduced in the field. We have incorporated LiDAR technology into routine surveying, drastically enhancing the quality and breadth of information available on our ecosystem. The scanned survey model data is compiled on a cloud database accessible by various parties and will act as important construction references in the future for operation and maintenance purposes. The continued use of our field view solution, a dedicated cloud-based and offline mobile solution that digitizes data collection in the field ensures effective data flow for communication between our workforce, various construction stages and collaborators of quality, safety, project delivery and commissioning. We continue to be at the forefront of tunneling innovations, paving the way for smart technology tunneling with the introduction of the autonomous tunnel boring machine system. Proven to outperform human operators without compromising safety, our tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, have been fitted with an AI-driven system. This award-winning technology is a world first and can be plugged into existing TBM hardware to monitor machine data in real time and assume optimal control of various tunneling subsystems. TBM drives are then remotely monitored at the Tunneling Centralized Command and Control Center, granting us powerful insight and providing a platform for effective collaborations. In-house talent led by strong and decisive management has created many of our innovations which continue to garner worldwide recognition, especially in the field of tunneling and underground works. 
The tunneling works for the MRT Putrajaya line are also progressing smoothly beneath existing buildings and the bustling traffic of the Klang Valley. Safety takes precedence as a dedicated team is assigned to monitor the ground from the surface as the TBM mines. Certain buildings require additional precautionary measures to preserve their structural integrity before tunneling works can proceed safely. Other challenges require unconventional solutions, like the connection between the MRT Putrajaya line and the Kajang line at the actively operating TRX interchange station, where four decommissioned tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, were docked. These TBMs were dismantled component by component and extracted through the just-completed tunnels using a method known as blind retrieval. Another first is the use of front box jacking, which is being employed to construct an underground pedestrian link right under Kuala Lumpur's busiest highway, Jalandun Razar. Tunneling works culminated with a final tunnel breakthrough at the Ampang Park MRT station, which was another significant milestone achieved in 2020. Each construction goal has been achieved on schedule and phase one of the project is now within our grasp. Taking challenges in our stride, every member of our forward-looking teams is cognizant of the role we all play in moving the project forward. Not content to rest on our laurels, we are committed to maintaining our performance at the highest levels, fueled by a steadfast belief that our contribution will benefit Malaysians for generations. With our eyes firmly set on tomorrow, we are building for a better future.